A common mistake that a lot of people make when configuring a minimal Linux system is when they set up their graphical environment, they end up adding a lot of unnecessary bloat. Even the people that prefer to use a full desktop environment will often end up creating a bloated X server configuration before laying their graphical environment on top of it. So today I'm going to show you how I have my X server configured and all of the packages necessary to install before getting a graphical environment like this in Gentoo. So first we have X 11 libs, libx11, no more commonly as xlib. It's a library that contains a lot of functions necessary for interacting with an X server. And then of course there's x11 base xorg server. And that's the actual X server that we'll be interacting with. It's the backbone of our graphical environment. X11 apps X in it is what allows us to start our X server session. So that's where the start X command belongs to. And it's also what allows us to configure our X session with X in it RC. So you know X in it RC is this file here where we basically tell uh, X what graphical environment to load. Of course, I'm just using DWM as my window manager. And then XRandar. So this is an extension of the X server. This allows us to configure our color depth, our size, uh, the orientation of our screen. And without XRandar, you would basically be stuck at a fixed resolution. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's impossible to change your resolution. You can still define it statically in your xorg.conf. Uh, so as you see here, I've got 1920 by 1080 set as my mode, but you would have to restart X for these changes to take effect. Like if I had, I don't know, a 4K screen and I wanted to change that there, I would have to restart this whole environment. X Randar, you would be able to just set that on the fly. X Cinerama, it's another extension which allows you to extend your desktop across multiple displays. So I highly recommend this if you plan on doing multi-monitor because that's pretty much the only way to do multi-monitor that I know of with X. Um, and if you're just using a single display, then obviously you don't need this. LibXFT is a font drawing library, so you need that for fonts to render properly. XRDB is another XORG extension which allows us to read variables from an X resources file to configure our terminal. So that is why this terminal looks so nice and also why it's able to have extended functionality like resizing my font on the fly. Um, well, that's mostly due to Perl extensions in URXVT that lets me do that, but we have to load those Perl extensions in X resources. So XRDB is necessary to do that. Then of course you have your X11 drivers. Now this is going to be different depending on what type of system you're using. If you're in VirtualBox, then you're gonna be using VBox Video like I have here. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, then you might wanna try the X11 NVIDIA drivers. If you're on AMD, then you'll want AMD GPU. You could also use Video Intel to use the integrated graphics for an Intel CPU. And then there's the miscellaneous part of my X config. So I've got unclutter, which just hides the mouse after a certain period of time. Uh, I've got mine configured to hide it after three seconds. Then you've got X clip, and that's needed for your clipboard to work before terminals. It lets you copy standard input to the X clipboard. And PCMan FM, that's a file manager. You should check out the video that I just made yesterday if you want to learn more about it. So this is my configuration of the X server. Feel free to use this in your Gen 2 configuration or Arch, Artix, Void, um, whatever Linux distribution, these packages, they're available everywhere. Leave a like and subscribe to get notified for new videos.